Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about FG as well as foregrounding, backgrounding, control Z and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I have accidentally shown this in a few videos where I've either bumped the keyboard shortcut by accident or um, shown, <laughs> shown this feature. Anyway, um, I usually try and avoid foregrounding and backgrounding in videos because it makes it harder to follow what's going on. Um, but I figured I'd show you how it works today. Uh, so let's jump into that. Okay, so let's say, hypothetical situation, I am editing some sort of file. Uh, I've made, I don't know, some sort of hello world. Uh, raise system exit main. I want, of course, to be on brand. It has to be hello, hello world. And we have to appease the time checker. Anyway, let's say that we have written this, and I want to quickly run this while I'm editing in the middle of this. Uh, now, of course, I could come over to this tab over here and, and run that there, uh, but that would not make a great example for what we're trying to show today. Uh, what you can do is you can background your currently running task, and to do that, you do Control Z on the keyboard, and that will put the process into a stopped state. And while it's in a stopped state, you can you know do whatever you want on the terminal, run the process, etc. Uh, and if you want to bring that process back, you can do FG, which will foreground. The last stopped process. You can see here, we go immediately back to where we were in the code and you know continue editing as if nothing has changed. Uh, so that's kind of the basics of this. Control Z and FG to get back. Uh, there's also BG, which will background the process. So you'll see that it's in kind of this stopped state right now. Uh, BG will continue the process, but in, in the background. So it's, it's not actually executing at the moment, but it is just kind of chilling out there waiting for us to continue. Um, I'm not actually sure whether my text ed editor handles BG properly, but we'll try it anyway. Um, uh, we can do jobs to list them. I, I guess it is still stopped. So even if it's backgrounded, it, it remains stopped. I guess that's how my text editor handles it. Um, and again, we can do foreground to bring it back into the foreground and continue working as normal. Now there, uh, oh, I... <laughs> I showed the next thing already a little bit early. Uh, the jobs command will show you all of the backgrounded things because you can actually have a lot of things backgrounded at once. Uh, we open a few of these and background them. Uh, you'll, you can run jobs and it will list all of the various processes here. I don't know what the minus and plus mean. <laughs> I'm sure I could figure that out by looking at the man page, but I haven't bothered learning. Um, and we can actually foreground these in a different order. So even though this is the most recent one that I backgrounded, and if we just do FG, it's going to open up the third one here. Uh, we can actually do FG with any of these job numbers. So if we do FG2, that will bring this second one back into the foreground. And uh, now it actually, oh, I guess the plus is the most recent one. So that is the one that's defaulted to FG. I guess that's how it works. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of how you can select a different process here. And again, jobs will list all of them. Uh, you can also use percent uh, job number and bash will substitute that as the process ID. So if we do echo percent three, for instance, uh, I guess it only works with kill. <laughs> Maybe it only works with kill. Uh, if we do kill percent three, that will send the kill, uh, the term signal to this process. But since, um, Babby actually intercepts the, the term process and does some stuff with it. Um, so you would have to re-foreground it to get it to receive that signal. So if we do FG3 now, um, you'll see that it immediately stopped. And that's you know just a, a weird quirk of how Babby handles signals. Um, but if you want to more forcibly kill something, you can do kill-9, and that'll send the sig kill to whatever job you want. You can use percent to kill a particular one. Um, and now you can see that we have killed that job. We only have one job remaining. We can, of course, still foreground it and exit it normally. Um, but yeah, that's FG, BG, which I guess we can talk about. Uh, yeah, I'll show you another example of BG in a second. Uh, we've talked about jobs and we've talked about kill and how it can have special behavior here. Now there is another way to start background and tasks in Bash, and that is to add an ampersand at the end of your command. So if we were to do, uh, let's do, I don't know, import time, time.sleep 10, and then print hello, hello, or something like that. 
And so we can run this command, and right now it's running in the foreground. Of course, we can background that as, as we saw before. Um, and eventually, I probably should have picked a number lower than 10. <laughs> eventually, it will complete and print hello, hello, hello. Um, but maybe we don't want to run this in the foreground. Maybe we want this to be a background task, and we want to do something else while it's running. And you can use ampersand here to background it, and that'll put it, that'll make it run, but not taking input directly here. And you can see it prints out the process ID here. I believe you can use dollar bang to print its PID. Yeah, so this is the last background task. And you can see that even though it was in the background, it still is able to write to my terminal. So we still got this hello, hello. And when it finally finished, it printed, you know, that job was done. Uh, but we can actually do other stuff here to uh, background this. So if we were to run this again and do control Z, oh, I <laughs> didn't mean to do it like that. Did not mean to background it. If we control Z it while it's in the foreground, it's stopped. And I believe while it's stopped, it doesn't actually execute anything. So it's not actually going to go through this sleep and then print. I'm not really sure about that. We could wait about 10 seconds to find out, or we could do a shorter version. Um, I think it would have printed by now. So I'm pretty sure do sleep one. And we background that, it didn't print anything. Cool. Okay, so while it is stopped with Control Z, it's not going to run anything. And you can make it run stuff. You can take it from the stopped state to the backgrounded and running state by doing BG. And again, BG is kind of like FG, uh, except instead of bringing it into the foreground, it puts it into the background and allows it to continue running. So if you do BG here, you'll see that it you know, is now uh, running rather than stopped, and eventually it will print this and then exit, um, like so. So that's how you can background stuff. Uh, I believe that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, oh, the last thing, how this kind of works. So the way this works is Control Z sends a special signal. I believe it is sig stop. Uh, we could try it and see what happens. Although I think if I don't send it properly, uh, the terminal itself is not going to see it. So let's actually send this to the parent terminal. Wait, why are there two processes here? Wait, what happened here? Uh, do I have one that's left over from somewhere? Yes. Oh, this is stopped right here. Right, okay. <laughs> I was like, why do I have another Python 3? Um, okay, so let's uh, run this and I have to be quick. Uh, run, kill, dash, stop. Oh, I was not fast enough. Dang it. Okay, well, let's make this a little bit longer. <laughs> that way I can actually get it. Find the process. This one, kill, dash, stop. This. Uh, so you can see that it is now stopped. If you look at our jobs here, we have a background stopped process. Uh, I believe we can do BG to allow it to continue. Yeah, so now it is in the background. Uh, BG is sig continue. Uh, that's also how you can, I guess, bring it back into the foreground, although Bash has its own special job processing here. Um, but yeah, it uses sig stop and sig cont to stop and continue the process. Anyway, that's kind of a crash course of job management, foregrounding, backgrounding, control Z, FG, BG, and jobs. Hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Button. Why are you not working? Ah. Uh.